Oh boy. Slipped off there. Still 13 though, that's not bad. I hate that jump underneath that bird. Kind of a weird input series. And there's one star that I have to get. Come on. I'm trying to, in what's up here dealer, I'm trying to. PB is so much possible, like, I'm so close to it, I, I know it, I just have to stop dying in, in World 7, that's all I need to do. I mean, there's so much time save everywhere in this run. I just have to, yeah, combine everything. Maybe I should just relax and rely on the strats that I know and not force anything. Because I think when I do that, like, when I really try to get a perfect run, I just stress myself too much and then I fail too many tricks and I end up losing more time than I would gain. So, just have a good run. I mean, I learned so many new strats anyway, that are not even hard to do. Or, like... 
I know, they, they might be not the be most beginner friendly stuff, but um, they are definitely feasible for me. So I should rely on that, on that and not on too much hassle. That doesn't really save me much time. All I need to do is hit Ellie Skip because that's like the gatekeeper for this run. If I get past Ellie Skip, then everything is fine. Then I can just proceed with the run. Um, that's okay, I guess. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's definitely not the worst. I need to switch here anyway, it just takes me some seconds, but that's okay. Always get the slow barrel there, don't know why that happens. Might be hitting some weird corner there on that ledge. Yes, you have read French, because I set the game to be on French. And before anyone asks, French is not really faster, it's just a meme that French is faster, but it's not. So, there is no point, basically, I just do it. And A does not finish uh, start stages, I should know by now. Gotta run. Sloppy one, but we got one. Hey, Zuffy. Yeah, memeing in DKC, right? Like, who would do that? Who would ever do that? Was a nice fall there.
while and that was still almost a time saver. We just lost a second. That's totally fine though. 950 is still very good for World 1. Like, wow. I remember the time where I could barely get sub 10s. Like, I think that happened like five times ever that I got a sub 10, but getting close to a 10 was pretty much optimal for me, and now it's below 10 or bust. Just, just focus here. You can do this. I can still just go there because the last nut always pops on that uh, on the barrel. Same here. I have to learn the cycle for this for this stage. It's the language of love. That's why. Yeah, same goes for me though. Like, I don't remember any French I learned back in school. I can still read it, kinda, but most of it got screwed because of Spanish that I learned after it. This is so much easier with Dixie, like, not gonna lie. It was just me fucking up the movement there. Please go in there. Thank you. Did you watch that in French, or why is that important right now? I don't get the context. I 
I did not release Y there. Come on. I think I missed a barrel throw here. In my PB. Thank you very much. Is that a void okay? Did I see that right? I think it is. Are you kidding me? Thanks for the good luck. I can definitely need that. <laughs> okay. That sucks now. Let's establish this. Okay. It might have still been faster than my PB, even though my PB got a one cycle, but it was more like improvised like crazy. Come on here, dealer, that joke is like older than the Bible. Never lucky. Okay, get a little bit lucky though. Come on. Are you kidding me? Okay, we get all the left spawns right now. What a, what about the left spawns there? I was gonna ask. <laughs> A good day here, dealer. Remax. Welcome, welcome. Let's see if we can get at least a first try. That would save like a crap ton of time. I would take that, definitely. Come on, please. Should have practiced that before.
No need to practice this. There we go. Exactly right. My most feared trick though, I really hate this trick. I wish there was a consistent setup for it. Are you kidding me? What was that? Like, I completely dropped off the ledge there. <laughs> that was weird. That was very weird. That's fine though. This means this bonus lacks a little bit less. It still lacks though, but... Yeah. Once I lose a little bit of time. I have to switch. Are you kidding me? This could have been such a big time saver. Wow. That feel when you get any skip first try and still lose time. <laughs> oh well. What can you do? That is really disappointing. Like, I could have saved so much time here. I hate it when Eric does not, like, go to the left but stays in the middle, because that is a kind of a hard throw for me. But okay, let's let's just keep running this. I mean... It's, it's fine. We have so much more time to save. I had a four cycle... Chaos, for example, so we can save a lot of time in this world as well. I've actually feared that I would hit the cheese ball there with the team throw, because I was so far to the left.
What is this RNG, huh? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. My PD, PB lose kitty like kind of early, and I had to take the long way with Pixie. I don't remember. Also, I took damage here. I remember that. Oh, I got a coin. That's fine though. Okay, we got. We missed two coins there. That's actually not good. I was totally not paying attention. At least we got those two. That's good. All right, time to zip some trees. Same as yesterday, it worked. Not sure why. But I'm not gonna complain about that. Usually when I don't see the Kong on the screen, I think I did not get it. Because, like, I'm too far up or wherever, I don't know. I just mashed the jump button and for some reason I still hit the bonus. It's okay, let's just keep focus. If I can go without too much hassle into World 7, everything is okay, because I have a billion to save there. Literally three deaths. There's a DK barrel coming up, right? Yeah. The next bonus with Solo Dixie is no fun. Also, I would have had to do um, the uh, coin strat very slowly, waiting for, for the scrolling and for the invincibility barrel.
that might screw up the barrel. Oh no. Okay. It was a clean bonus entering. Very good. Good. It was also faster than in my PvP because my PvP got a 14 there, I remember that. Scary. Thought I had the wrong pattern there. Oh, fuck it. That's not good. I don't know how I did not take damage there. That's so unnecessary. That is so unnecessary. Because I got way too greedy. I mean, that was a very quick death, but still annoying. What was that? These hitboxes of these bees are literally comedy. Like, <laughs> if I could pass them the way my, like the the nuts pass him, pass them. I would be so happy, but whenever I get close to them, their hitbox like expands infinitely.
saving time. I think I would need a one cycle to save time. <sighs> Seriously. Not too bad, not too bad, but we could have saved a lot more time. Recycle plus one death, that's fine. Twenty seconds behind, that's fine. I think that's the time I lost in this world for I don't know whatever reason. I mean I know some reasons but I think 4-2 and 4-3 gave me some issues. And had some very bad movement here as well. That was kind of close. Yeah, I pressed B there, I knew that would happen. That's that's fine though, that's fine. That was my fault. I think that bonus was a little bit faster though. To roll early, otherwise I won't get the water bounce. I will not go for the crimp roll here now, because last time it didn't work and I lost Kitty, and I don't know why it didn't work, so I'm not gonna go for it again. It doesn't save, and it just saves frames, so... Rip crimp, I'm not gonna roll through you again. And I had to take this upcoming se section very carefully, because I didn't know the cycles for... For the, uh, for the bees. I waited here, and I waited here, and I waited here, so... It costed me a lot of time. Because I only know the damage boost strats. <clears throat> but of course, with one Kong, it's not the best thing in the world to damage boost. It might not work.
I remember the times when I had issues getting to that bonus because for some reason the uh, barrel wasn't loaded. Full star again. I have to figure out when exactly you need to jump there to not get trolled by that star. Because that's an easy three seconds save if you just have to... You can just go for one shot there. Hey, Alec, Alec, 321. Thank you very much. How are you doing? And welcome, welcome. Um. This bonus is so nice with Kitty because he just covers so much of these ropes. I'm fine, thank you. Have fun lurking. Hope you'll enjoy the stream. Okay, I lost Kitty there, in, uh, Dixie there in my PB, so this is definitely going to be faster. I had to re grab Dixie here, which is really slow. Close. Almost hucked the guy. Very good. I also think I fell down there. Was it in my PB? I don't remember. I think I, I think it was. I slipped off the edge and I had to reshoot up. And I almost got a heart attack by that. Because I thought the barrel might be gone, but it wasn't. Ah, that screws up the cycle. Crap. You can't jump there, you just have to run into the barrel.
Okay, I'm good on coins now. Almost. Very good. Yeah, it's it's kind of menacing, but it's one of my favorite tracks of uh, of the soundtrack. I really like the water theme in DKC three. It actually sounds like a like a deep ocean to me, not just like a lake or something. Was close, I almost got him hugged by the fish there. I also think I had to do some crazy shenanigans here with the fish to get into the bonus. Because I lost Dixie before. I think I can save some time here. It should work. Okay. That was close. But it worked. I was too far to the right there. That it might. Alright. Back in the green just slightly, but it worked. We saved a bunch of time.
that's fine. I think I just... My PB did kind of a, a loose kitty there, I think. So I had to switch and then re-switch. Okay. That nice and slow. Don't want to fail that. The strat is so much easier than that what I was doing actually. I took a weird curve jump there and it just kind of completely threw me off always. It looked so scary. But right, like that way, it's so easy. It's a little short coin, but that's fine. That was kind of close. I think... Wow. That was really, really close. He almost blocked that off. So in my PB I fell here. I fell down. I don't remember where exactly it was, but it it, it was kind of weird. So if we don't fall down, that's definitely a time save. I'm gonna get that. Oh, I got it. Nice. Good thing world record is so much out of reach. Oh, I fell here, right, I remember. Like, I tried to roll off the barrel and I, and I slipped off and it completely... I can't really grow a mustache, so I think that's not really possible. Hello, troll barrel. Troll barrel, please! Hello! Like, wow! This is how you lose so much time for no reason. I can't get into the bonus. Like, that was the exact time that it took me to get back up after falling down. That was literally just the game with its middle finger again. 
I've never been trolled that much by uh, Troll Barrel before. Wow, that is just... Nah, nah, nah. Oh, Mender. Um... But that's not me with moustache. You could mean Capo. El, El Capo. But um, that's the Kappa, not me. I actually did not promise that, <laughs> and I never will. Because major problem number one, I can't grow a mustache. Uh, bu -bu -bu. uh okay, that's weird. No, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I could promise anything because I can't get world record in this game. I just can't. The world record is 150-240, I think. So, uh, I can promise anything for getting world record. It just won't happen. <laughs> just won't. If I PB in this game again, then, uh, like, get a, get a real PB. I'm done with this anyway, so... Since I learned how to do instant webs, um, just a week ago, or like a couple of days ago, this stage became so much easier and so much less stressful. Because I literally land, ran this game thinking I would know how to do uh, instant platforms. And right now I know that I was completely wrong because I didn't know that. The way I thought you make instant platforms was completely wrong, it was not instant. But now I know how to do them. Because every time I tried to go for them, I um, like lost all my momentum, and I think that was because I mostly held down L and R, which you're not supposed to do. You just tap the button slightly, and that creates the platform, and it just does not kill your momentum. And hey, Zuri, thank you very much for the host, and thanks for the good luck. A little bit more safe here. Nope. Um, after DKC3, I plan to go to DKC2. Most likely, that's my plan for now. Up, uh, up, uh, troll star.
Um, you mean tropical freeze and returns? Um, nope, 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 not really, because those are pretty difficult to learn and pretty frustrating as well. So don't count on that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I have a missed hit on the last bleak phase, so if this fight goes halfway decent, I should save time. But it's bleak, so you never know. It's bleak. He can just troll me. In the... After this hit, he can troll me for however long he likes to. Thanks, Anenkos. How did your runs go earlier? Yo, that was nice. I thought you were streaming, but I couldn't watch it because I was on the way. Okay, nice. Alright, we are on PB pace by a second. Oh boy, that sucks. Sorry, man. It's World 7. World 7. You saw it last night live here. World 7. Claimed another one. I'm gonna go for a squeeze there. I'm not gonna waste any time on that. Just pick the barrel and go. Same dude, same. Nightmare. Almost 32. Oh yeah, I can also save a lot of time here because well, the coins just didn't work. <laughs> Lost the barrel there, then I despawned it. It was a slow barrel. I remember that clip I had, I don't know if, if I still have that, where I had like the slowest barrel drop there ever. It was so slow. I think it took like 10 seconds to hit the guy, it was embarrassing. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm hoping I can keep this. World 7 is coming up, though, so you never know. But yeah, pretty much all of my time save is in World 7. I didn't even need to switch. That's good. I don't need to switch. Oh yeah, because I played Geek uh, Bleak with Kitty. That's why. Wow, I almost hit that guy with Dixie. That would have been so bad. That would have been so bad. So let's see if we can get the coin now in 6-2. I don't remember exactly where it is, but it's somewhere at the start on the left side of the rope. It's an invisible coin. I saw Sui getting it, and I, I got it also when I was doing practice. And yesterday in the run I just couldn't get it. I, I don't know exactly where it was. I think it's when there is a barrel to the right, it's on the exact same side, uh, at the exact same height on the left, I think. 
So it should be coming up right here. Uh, no, not not there. There it is. Okay. Yeah, it's it's the exact same height. Okay, so that means I could technically scratch one coin off my route because th this one is free. It's an auto scroller coin, so it doesn't cost any time. I have to look into that, which one I might scratch off my list. The one in one two actually doesn't save as much time as I expected, so yeah, we'll see. In there. The gold coins the enemies hold are the DK coins, the ones I collect um, like on the fly, like the silver ones with the bear hats on it, those are called bear coins. And you need them as currency to buy a mirror for 5 coins and um, a sh uh, for 50 and a shell for 5. And DK coins are just a collectible, so to speak. Silver coins are like rupees in Zelda, in Zelda, if you like. Hey Dustpan, thank you very much for the good luck. How are you doing? And then there's also the bonus coins, which are just another collectible. Always take the long curve there, and I don't want to do that. And the bad thing is that my TV is kind of reflecting the sunlight because it's so bright outside that I can't really see much here. Yeah, that was one of the mistakes. See the ledge there. Ah. I always think this is the bonus we have to collect, like the, the trail of stars. Come on, like, wow, this is so bad. Anyway. Runs are okay, like I lost a couple of runs before um, in World 1, but I hope I'm on a good pace right now and I try to keep that way. Let's, let's see. World 7 is coming up and World 7 is most likely my weakest, weakest world. I can gold World 7 by so much. If I just stop dying in weird places. My PB has three deaths in World 7, so the major time save is coming up. Plus slop, that is. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going for single entry Ellie skip right now, because Oni told me that single 
uh, single entry Ellie skip saves more time, which makes sense. Um, so if I don't get it, I'll just reset. This level is pure practice IMO, like learning the layout and um, yeah. It took me a long time. This was one of the stages I was like most scared of because I thought, hey, you can't see there. You have to learn that like so badly. But it wasn't that bad after all. Yeah, and if I don't get it, I just reset because... But only for... Um, for PB runs. In races I would go uh, like two entry just to be safe. Because Murky Mill with Ellie completely is like no fun. And yes, like sub 10 world 1 is not free I would say, but it's definitely feasible. I would say like a world 1 with Ellie skip on first try is like standard for me right now, but for maybe a less experienced player it might not be, because I would consider myself to be an experienced player of this game, even though I took a long break. Um, but I still think that I have some advantages because I ran this game before. I remember when I, back in the days, ran this game, um, everything sub-10 was really good. And I think, like, the best was like a 950 or something. Without Eddie Skip that was, because Eddie Skip was test only at that time. That was very good. My accuracy in Ellie Skip, I would say like, I don't know. I haven't done many runs with Ellie Skip. Um, I ha learned it recently, but I would say like... I, I would say like about 50%, maybe a bit more. Ah, uh, don't go to Swankies. <laughs> Like, the, the good thing is, if I don't get it, I know what the mistake was. I think that helps a lot. So, um, that's definitely an advantage. Thank you. I wish there was a like somewhat consistent way to get Ellie Skip in 2-5. Because I know there is this strat with a setup, but I don't find that consistent at all. Not even with practice. And I practice the crap out of that trick. But hey, this run got it first try and I still lost time because of Eric screwing me over. I hate Eric. I really do. Yeah, 2-5 is worse. But it also saves a lot of time, and it makes the stage so much easier. is a left spawn. I knew it. Stop it!
This was so good RNG and then I lost it because of the, these dreaded spawns in the end. But that's okay. They spawn too close to the middle, I always get kind of... Nah, that was... Yeah, that was my fault. Way too early. But that's fine. I can still save a bit of time, or at least get out of here even. Just can't die now, that would be very bad. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Now we are on PB pace. By 10 seconds. And now, let's lose this running World 7, right? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm curious. Let's see what happens. I'd rather take this nice and slow than rushing anything and losing Kongs, because that's slower. Kitty in this stage is like the worst thing you could ever imagine. I wanted to have that coin, but that's fine. Okay. That was not too bad. Alright. Wow, we managed to get out of here without dying or losing a Kong. It was not really fast, but I don't care. Alright, RNG Caverns.
Also, I'm getting... What was that? Kind of weird. Um, I'm getting really consistent at this bonus, which I like. I used to fail this a lot in my older runs. Um, sorry? Hate that barrel so much. Alright. Two stages done without dying. RNG was not the best, but that's okay. That was a clean opening though. That was that was good. I'm getting way too tense, I need to come down a bit. I hope that was not a mistake. Alright, got through this stage without dying.
No fast cycle this time in Ancos. I'm sorry. This very carefully. Alright, managed to go through this stage without dying as well. Take damage, so that's okay. I have to get used to SNES swimming physics again, especially in this stage. Yeah, it's it's either fun or it completely destroys you. Like, do you have issues with the left and right? Um, reverse controls, or why is that? Oh, okay, I get it. All right. Oh wow, that sucks, man. Maybe some practice helps there. I mean, this this is not a difficult stage, I would say, but I uh, completely understand if someone has issues with it. I mean. comes down to practice I would say. We didn't die in this world so let's see. I'm hurrying dude, I'm hurrying. For a second I thought the game softlocked because I didn't see any text there. And I wasn't mashing that hard, so... Um, no, you can't really softlock. There is a, a weird camera glitch, though. I don't know why that happens, though. I like had it once. Like, the camera completely freaks out in this stage. At the beginning of phase. Like, the, the real K rule phase. Everything moves kind of weirdly. It's hard to describe. Maybe Alec has an, an, a highlight of that or something. Maybe not. You can still play the boss fight, but it's very difficult to do.
little bit like Belcha teeth glitch if you want to. Lean. Oh yeah, the coin always spawns in the middle. <sighs> Alright. Alright. Fuck my life, yes. Come on, Krematoa. Krematoa is my favorite world. We can't lose the run to that. Yeah, thanks man, I'm trying to. Let's let's see how this goes. Let's keep keep calm, shall we? Everything is fine. And hey Arcadia, welcome, welcome. Wow, how did that work? Like... <laughs> okay. Kremata. Oh, wrong button. I meshed A again instead of B. I'm too nervous. I'm way too nervous. Not good. Yeah, it, it worked. Like... Screw the stones, right? I'm way too nervous. I'm shaking so much right now. I gold the Krematoa last night in my PB, so all I need to do is play it like that, and I still have time savers here, so. Alright, thank you, dude. Have a good, uh, have a good work. Gonna wait that out. Or not. Nice. 
nice. There were pretty few upper spawns, I'm kind of confused. Alright, run killer one out of the way. I'm Dixie, that's good. Do it just like I'm used to doing that. Okay. <sighs> Crap, that was actually okay. That's okay though. Because I also, this bonus was very slow. Can make up the time easily. Okay, very good. Kind of feels like on VC, those were triggered kind of way earlier. Should be fine. Uh, not sure if this is fine though. Oh, let's reset this up. I should have still been faster than in my PB. Also, just in case. I don't want to lose this run to coin count. to the wall. Okay, that's not too bad, my PB failed that as well. D 
to be careful to not fail this bonus. Come on, give me good RNG. Okay, that was a good decision, not going left there. Okay, okay, okay. We got this, we're out of here. We got this. Swoopies, let's go. I'm too nervous. Hey Oni Link. Thank you. I'm trying to. I'm super nervous right now. <sighs> ah, I didn't get the hug there. Come on, two cycle. Barely missed the coin there. <laughs> yeah, this stage is stressful, like the gauntlet, right? The gauntlet. I go for this one. I'd rather play this nice and slow right now. Keep my pace. Not I don't know why they didn't spawn there, or why they didn't go for the flight. Ah! Good backup though. Thank you. Yeah, the jump was actually okay, but I, I kind of didn't trust it, I don't know why. Thought I might have been a little bit too early there. And losing a Kong there doesn't make it any better, so I tried to salvage it without taking damage. I've never done that team throw before, but I think I'll keep that in mind as a backup, just in case I fail that strat with a ducking and then roll jump. Even though that's actually fairly consistent. But, um, yeah. I just uh, blame bad nerfs for that right now. Also, I do not care if I play this slowly, because I just don't want to die. So I might intentionally just huck some bees here and there. Just to be safe, to not die.
That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Hey, FS Army. Be dead in a second. Now watch me get the wrong warp and lose the run. That would be so funny. Ah, bonk. That's fine. I did take a break, yeah. I just started like two hours ago or so. Yeah. Alright. K rule, K rule, K rule. Oh, that's why it happens? Is that like a, a requirement to get it? I didn't know that. My point of knowledge was that, uh, or my state of knowledge was when when you kind of cross the last red B and fly above midway without triggering it, then you have a chance at getting it. So it was very weird movement, but that you actually had to switch Kongs at the start. I didn't know that. Okay. Do you know like why that messes up the the stage or Yeah, like Midway had something to do, that was what I was thinking. Because when Alec tried to recreate it, he intentionally skipped Midway. I'm so shaking right now. Good thing it's not like speedrun really relevant. That's true. This game is not that much broken, but the the few stuff that is actually not uh, that, that is actually broken, it's kind of still a mystery. One. It always like that my nerves when I counted the hits. Two. Three. Perfect cycle. Four. Rip kitty. Thank you. Thank you. Now we need to not fail bird caves. Thank you. 
The funny thing is, the last time I ran this game, like back in the days in 2016, um, I got my... I, I did a, a run offline during the night and I got a 204 something. So basically something like last night's PB, right? And on the very next day I was like, come on, let's push this lower. Um, and I got the PB like after a few attempts. But on on the exact day, on the exact stream, so it's it's actually the exact same thing right now. Last night I got the 204, and now I get the big PB again. I like that a lot. Also, if I can get the flower grab quickly, we can still save some seconds. Yeah, it, it is. Like it really feels like that. Those pen, like a, a like repetitive pattern, if you like. Caban de bleu. Un cadeau pour moi. Merci, Dixie. Voyons ce que c'est. No, um, I don't think so. But I don't need to, actually. This feels so good. 
Like, if, if I get my current pace right now, which I should still beat by a few seconds because I got flower grab, so I have time to save here. Um, I will beat Tekio's old world record, and if I could do that, that would be feed enough for me. Like, totally. I'd be so happy to, to do that. But if that works right now, if I can get a sub 201.44, then... Um, I'm happy. I thought there was one more. I thought the biggest bird cave was nine, but this one was eight. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what? What? What did I miss? Oh. Uh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Rip sub techio. Oh well, PB nonetheless. This is an embarrassing mistake, but it happens. I was so focused on flower grab. Yeah, this is it. I was so focused on grabbing the flower that I completely forgot that bird cave. It's... Ah. Anyway, what can you do? It's, it's a PB nonetheless. It's fine. This is the last run. So... It's totally fine. But this is no 201. That sucks. That sucks. Or is it? Ah, this could have been a 201! I'm so mad right now! Ah, fuck it! This could have been a 201. If it wouldn't have been for this crazy shit bird cave mistake. I was so focused on getting that flower. God damn it. Ah. Yeah, but that was still a very good run. That's that's true. It, it's a PB. That's fine. That's all I wanted. So yeah. That happens. That happens. That happens. Maybe someday that's a free time save. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very, very much for bearing with me through this journey. Hey, why am I, why, why am I not listed? Thanks, Oni, for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm done. I meant to delete the upper one. But yeah, that's that's that. Thanks, Robber. Yeah, thanks, Duffy. Thanks, Dustpan. Thanks, Arcadia. Thanks, Oni. Thanks, Nepo. Thank you very much, guys. It has been a long, long time. But I didn't actually expect to beat the goal or to beat my old time from back in the days that quickly. Um, wouldn't have expected that, to be honest. When did I start rerunning re this game? I think it was like two weeks ago. I think two weeks ago I started 
de-rusting roughly. Um, thanks Mario Man Warrior for the follow. Yeah, two weeks ago I started de-rusting roughly. Um, did my first runs with a 213, then a 214, then a 207, then a 208, and um, then a 204. No, 205, then 204, and now the 20201. Which is a nice number, I take that. Um, yeah. That's, that's okay. That's all I wanted, basically, like, getting a new PB. Given the fact that we lost so much time early on. Um, yeah. There's a lot of potential. We still had one death. There was a very quick death, though. That's just a couple of seconds. Because I, like, died right after midway. But, um... Yeah. It's done. I'm done with this for the longest time, I guess. Um, yeah, these bits are hard to, get, to run against. Mostly because World 7 was finally deathless, as you can see by the huge gold. Um, 